What is up guys? My name is Loverfella and welcome to a game called Fortnite. This is a brand new this is a brand new game mode called Battle Royale, which basically is like player unknown battlegrounds, except it's a game called Fortnite. So I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty similar, but here's the thing, guys. I've never played this game in my life, and so I literally just bought it, installed it. I have no idea what's about to happen. Um, but we're, we're literally floating on a hot air balloon bus, which is pretty cool. So it was a hundred players It's just like player unknown battlegrounds and uh, looks like most people are leaving like right off the bat at the beginning here I Figure I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna kind of wait a little bit I looked at the map at the beginning figured out how to pull up a map Found out there's an area called loot lake, so I'm feeling like loot lake is a good place to go But uh, I'm just going really to try to get to the center of the map like a lot of people still jumping off But yeah, there's a hundred people in the game the crazy thing is this is an early access game, right? So there's only 132 people playing right now. And I have a feeling this game might get popular, like I don't know if it will or not. So basically, um, it's like a, it's a really cool game. I'll explain like the main part of the game later, but this just came out today and I saw it on Twitter and I was like, that looks pretty sweet. Let's give that a shot. Um, so yeah, we're gonna basically probably probably get destroyed here. I don't know oh, look at that little thing I, I literally don't know how to play this game at all. So um, this is a bit like straight up first impressions figuring out how to play um, But yeah, so this game Costs about 30 bucks to buy the game I believe but the cool thing is or not cool depending on how you look at it is that it's pay while it's in early access once it's out of early access it becomes free so you pay to play it early and uh, obviously not a ton of people have done that yet but it looks very promising to me so um, I, don't, I don't know what we're really gonna do looks like we have a little oh we broke a little thing we broke a little mushroom breaking some rocks here get some bricks around us and it looks like we found a little floaty gun right here so E to pick it up E to pick it up and then I guess we scroll to pull out a little shotgun so cool, now we got a shotgun. I need to turn this volume too, that way. If I hear anyone around us, I'll be able to do it. So I guess we break this stuff. Not really sure why. Oh, oh okay. So this is kind of like rust, how when you break things, fantastic idea. You break things, it actually gives you like a little, a little like pointer, like you, you, oh wait, the eye is shrinking. I'm in the eye, I'm barely in it. I can see the map up there. Also looks like a secondary gun here, possibly. Pick that one up too. Is that like a fully auto gun, looks like? And then we can just like literally break things. Okay, that's maybe a little bit too loud right now. All right, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go over here, break this mushroom real quick. Uh, I don't, I don't know why am I? It's just satisfying to break things. So the main game, guys. Let me talk about that real quick. Why we are? Well, let's go cross the bridge. The main game here is, from what I understand, what I've seen in other videos, is you kind of build a little base, like a survival game, and then you're playing against monsters and like enemies coming at you and stuff. It's like a, tur or a tower builder, or a, uh, you know, a defense-based game, but it's also a survival game. So think of it as a mixture between like Ark and one of those little tower games you play on your phone, like Balloons Defense. So that is what I'm thinking it looks like, but they're adding a lot of cool stuff, and it's made by Epic Games, which is a really respectable company. Uh, I'm definitely going the wrong way, which is why I do believe there's a pretty big future with this game. Now, a freaking ceiling trap? That's hardcore. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but cool. Um, Don't even know how to use that, actually, but that's cool. But Epic Games is a pretty big company. I know they make a lot of games, and so like I saw this, and I saw the graphics, and I was like, this is kind of speaking to me. So um, I think I'll survive if I, if I try to... If I try to do this, I mean, I feel like it's a bad idea, but we're, oh, 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 dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, turns out you can't do that. All right, guys, back in the party bus, and I'm going to drop off a little bit earlier this time. There's a cool building down here, and I just want to go see what's in it. Maybe get a little bit of PvP in, because I want to test out how good the guns are. So we're going to go check this out, guys. Hope you're enjoying this. It's definitely different than Player Unknown Battlegrounds, but it's similar in a lot of really good ways. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of these games coming up in the future, like adding this style, I guess, if you want to call it, of game, because it's, it's just so popular. Player Unknown Battlegrounds, player up. What did I just say? Player Unknown Battlegrounds got literally a million players, and it's an early access game, and it actually just blows my mind when you think about how many people that is. All right, there's definitely a dude right there. And I think there's also a gun right here, so we're gonna just take it down nice and easy. Pick that up. Okay, that's definitely not a gun. But I got a little ammo. What is this? A med med pack or something? There's a dude behind me. Let's go. Is that what is this? Is this freaking rockets or bullets? Ammo. Okay. Got some more ammo. Still waiting for that uh still waiting for that clutch gun though to come in. Where you at, buddy? I feel like there's there, oh there's there's something over there. There's something over there. Alright. I feel like someone's gonna shoot me. I'm just gonna have to be really careful about this because I, I hear bullets outside. Maybe if I get up there, shoot, if I fall down too hard, I know I'm going to die again. <laughs> That's what happened to me last time. But, if we're careful, 
Be able to go upside or upside up upstairs maybe get a little wood or something I guess we could do some crafting too there is crafting guys hit those marks um and if you craft things you can craft bases and you can kill people in those bases but I saw a weapon upstairs so I'm going to try to climb up here and get that maybe it's a gun maybe it's like a bazooka I'm not really sure um or maybe someone grabbed it no okay keep on keep on going around pop goes the weasel am I just running in circles now okay store my strengths I'm not even in it and I'm um, stuck Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy right there with a shotgun. Okay, not gonna go that way. I saw a door over here. I'm gonna see if I can scoot inside. A peek around the corner. All right, wow, we just like totally dodged him super well. Um, okay, a little gate, cage. Come on, come on, come on. Where's my weapons at? I just need something. I just need something. What is this? Search. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. We got bandages at least, right? How do I use it? Oh, okay, you hold down the bandage. Oh, geez. No. <laughs> so that's what happens though when they shoot you they kill you and all your items disappear in the air so okay guys now we are in the uh tutorial mode for like the main level the main the main game of this and so apparently it's like a really difficult game or like it's like a big learning curve um so i figure since i kind of suck at the other mode maybe i should figure out how to actually play the game real quick so we're gonna do this tutorial show you guys what it is uh maybe you guys will like this game maybe we'll find out the game sucks i don't really know but uh that was pretty satisfying i'm not gonna lie and I'm the commander too, which is cool. Alright, so we go to the little yellow exclamation point if I had to guess. Seems like a bad idea personally. Oh. oh okay, if I could just do that in real life, that'd be great. Just destroy anything in my way. Nice, alright, cool. And, uh, hmm, looks like a little, st what's our situation? Dude, I can destroy like everything. Start taking down these rail tracks, taking down the cart. Oh yeah, that is satisfying. I don't know if I need any of this right now. Actually, I probably don't. I'm going to keep on going. Uh, maybe I should keep my gun out, too, because I feel like there's going to be some enemies. Oh. Oh. Did I hear an enemy? No? Dude, this is really satisfying right now. Oh, okay. What was that? Was that just lightning? A little bit of... A little, you know, it was just lightning. It was casual, man. Nothing to worry about. All right. How do we get out of this, though? Okay. Build our way out. Select stairs. Oh, okay. So I can edit it. I don't know why I'd want to edit it. Material. Oh, change the material? Cool, cool, cool. So let's go ahead and just make like basic crappy steps. Click to build it. Oh, look at that. That's a satisfying build system right there. I don't care who you are. That's nice. And we can just walk it up. Oh, dang. That's sweet. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We got a little chest right here. So let's see what's inside the chest. I need a better gun. Oh. Oh, baby. Well, thank you very much for the... Uh, what is this? This is a sword. You didn't, you didn't give me a bigger gun. You gave me a sword, dog. I feel like, I feel like this is the wrong tool. I don't even think you know what you gave me. All right. Press 1 to equip your pickaxe and break a tree. Oh, look at the little wood popping down. Man, I like this game. You can just break everything. This is this is how games should be. I shouldn't get too into it yet. Okay. Ooh, I can search the bush. What's that going to do? Oh, okay. It just kind of gives you stuff. Harvest resources you can craft a gun. Find two stringy twine from trees. So basically break the trees down. Uh, okay. And then find six nuts and bolts from vehicles. So literally break everything. Does a sword work better? Ooh, sword's quick. Okay, that's cool. It's like a simple combat system, but it works well. And I feel like the collecting and gathering is way more satisfying because the things pop up. And instead of just like saying like, you got five wood, like Ark and Rust, like this, this is cool. This has got to be the future of, um, this has got to be the future of harvesting, I think, because it's just so boring to do. Search this little guy. We need to go break another car. Let's go ahead and just, let's just break everything, man. I love this game. Look at that. I mean, if you if you have a bad day, literally, this is like a game in itself. Like you can get on and just break stuff. And by the way, speaking of bad days, guys, today started off as one of the worst days ever, just because I like I had some crazy homework assignments to do and stuff. And like by the end of the day, it became an awesome day for me because I was able to turn it around. Because like I, I did really bad on my homework assignment. Honestly, I did very terrible on it. It's a really hard assignment, and um, I turned it in. I knew it was wrong. And then at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? I did the best I could. Really, I put in as much time as I could. I could not put a single minute more into it, and so I'm proud of that. So I just was like, all right, dude, you don't have to be sad. You're good. You did good. Okay, I is crafting. So let's see. C is craft. And then does it have like a little timer? Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Pops above my head. And I get a bunch of ammo. Press M to open a map of the area. Okay. And then walk this way to the survivors. All right. This is cool. Like, this is really, really cool. I really honestly hope you guys like this, because this is a game that I'd really like to add. At least so far, I'd like to add this to the channel. Like this and the uh, Player Unknown Battleground style gameplay that it has in. The graphics are good. It's just a fun game. Alright. 
Let's see what we got over here. Oh, a couple. Oh, ooh, that shooting is so nice. Man, when you have a combat game that does combat right, it's it's a big deal. And that feels great. Oh, what's up, Mr. Beard? Oh, geez, okay, lightning tornado. Oh, and zombies. All right, coming at us. Coming at us quick out of nowhere. Look at that. Oh, they dead. I don't, I've seen this before. I know they're not going to make it. Let's watch. Ooh. Look at those guys. Oh, boy. I feel like it's just spray. Oh, sh take out those husks. What does that even mean? I'm just going to spray and pray, man. I don't even need to aim. Actually, might be better if I, like, click it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. 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 Don't get... Okay. 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 I, 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 no, 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 no. Got a little bit too close there for comfort. All right, my dudes. This tutorial is taking it up a notch right now. Okay. Okay. All right. Maybe I need to get into the fort with my dudes. Um, this is... Okay. This is a little bit intense. I don't want to die, though. Not in the tutorial. Come on, baby. Wow, there's some serious, serious spraying going on right now. All right. How do I get there, though? If I come in the... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Let's go, boys. I'm coming. I'm coming. Defend the fort. Okay, I made it. No worries. Oh, cool. I get here and I kill everything. That's great, dudes. G to edit? The heck? What is this? Confirm? What what does edit do? No need to worry. We've got your Oh, you can like I think you can like draw on it or something. To keep husks from getting and then G's confirm. I'm not really sure what that is, but I guess you can edit things. Oh wait, I didn't read that. Place three floor traps. Where does my floor traps at? Oh gosh. F five it says. F five. Are these Oh, that looks like a floor oh jeez, holy cow, that's a heck of a floor trap, dude. Alright, four. Five. Just keep on going. Six. Just keep, keep them coming. Seven. We got seven. Can I make more? Can we make eight? Okay, that's all I can. Oh, we can. We can make eight. All right. I don't see. I don't see zombies making it. Okay, nine. We got nine. That's a waste of resources, probably. But what's up, my dudes? Can I kill you? I can't. What's up, Beardo? All right, we got we got a thing to do. We got a magic chest as well. Let's see what we get in this. Come on, baby. Give me some good. We got. I don't know. What we got. We got some ammo. Ooh. Edit. So I get rid of that. I just got rid of it and turned into a door. That is cool. Okay. Search a little locker action here. Oh, man. We getting... I don't know what we getting, but we getting stuff. Can I search that? Oh, I got to get my, my thing to break things out. Yeah. This is the anger management game, guys. I can't wait till this goes free. I, l I would love to play it with you guys. I think it's like a co-op co game, whatever you want to call it. So... Um, probably shouldn't be destroying this base since they just let me in, so whatever. But yeah, this is a co-op game, so like you can play with like a bunch of people at once. So it'll be really fun to play with you guys, I think. So definitely keep your eyes out on this. It's called Fortnite, F-O-R-T-N-I-T-E. -E. Looks super fun to me. And, uh, yeah, let's just keep on breaking things. I'm getting materials. I feel like it's gonna be useful for me. And this is, oh, look at little, little boxes here. Oh, I should have searched them, but I'm just gonna break them. Wait, sorry, what am I doing, guys? You want me to go to that little yellow dot. You want me to see what's at the yellow dot. I don't need to break things. Except this. I need to break this. And I need to break this. And I need to break this too. How do I get down there? Oh, I'm definitely going the wrong way. Just got a little little backtrack there. Break these real quick. Okay, thank you. Oh, can I break the mattress? Oh, I can. Dude, you can break everything. Look at all the materials I'm collecting from you guys. They don't even care. Like, you don't want that light? Or you do? Maybe. I don't know. It just doesn't matter. I'm destroying it. And it, bal it bounces really weird. Like, when I hit it. It's like a real weird looking thing. Okay, anyway, guys, let's go ahead. Um, I believe this is the door I created. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing we just, maybe we can break this or turn it off or something. What's that? Can I break that? Why can't I break this? I don't know. Can't break that either. All right, so you can't break a couple things, but you can break most things. So that's what matters. Found some steps. More than likely, these are going to lead me to where I need to be. Um, and I guess I'm just going to keep on smashing things as I see them. Oh, this is one I can break, it looks like. But what did I hit? Oh, I'm breaking the whole wall. Ooh, I bet that's going to give me something real good if we can get through it. Oh, okay, so you can see the top left under bag. It's giving me, like, a bunch of stuff that I'm crafting. For. Okay, RPG. Yep, going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and make an RPG, I think. Oh, I got an RPG. What? Oh, my goodness. I do not need to have one of these right now. Collect the bio glue. Thank you very much. Search that. This is nice, man. This is hooking us up. Attempt rocket launch. Oh, do I need this? I'm launching a rocket, and I have a rocket launcher. The opposite of lift off. Oh, we didn't lift off. Uh, Search that okay. trash can. Someone converted this rocket to run on blue glow. Oh, blue glow. Okay, well, good then. thing I see a little bit back there. Just go ahead and blow up part of the base. What? What? A rocket doesn't break a potted plant, but a pickaxe does? I don't know about that. Okay, I already collected one. There's two. Where's the third? Where's the third? 
There it is. Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> All right. Three blue out glue, whatever these things are. Blue glow, deposit it, and now maybe we'll lift off. This is so fun, dude. All right, don't want to be engulfed in flaming rocket exhaust. Can I leave this way? Turns out I can't. Ooh. Ooh, a little bit more glue. Okay, there's a little bit of searching stuff back here. How do I leave, though? How do I get out of here? I guess I'm going the wrong way, but there's so much to search. All right, we're go oh, more glue, though. I gotta, I gotta get this glue. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. And let's get our bazooka out, because freaking it's got unlimited ammo, it looks like, in the bottom. So we can just blow this place up. Is there a save option? Okay, I think it might just be, like, mission-based. Like, once you complete a mission, you get stuff back. I feel like I haven't breathed in so long. I've just been talking non-stop for, like, ten minutes. Alright. What is this? Search that real quick. Give me a little something in there. Cool beans. Here's my traps. Looking good. Alright. What do we have? Ooh. Look at that little guy. I got plenty. I got plenty of traps. We don't have to worry. Oh. Unless we do. Oh! Oh! My goodness, look at him. Wow, okay, fall back. That's right, I'll be falling back real quick then. Whew. Where'd he go? How'd he get up there? Freaking, our traps are shooting him forward. They're propelling him. Okay, that's amazing. I'm gonna try out my... Where's my rocket? This doesn't matter rockets. I need to craft another one. Okay, I can't. I'm just gonna start shooting them then. These little traps are really effective. It looks like they're just kind of destroying the zombies, so... Seems like a good way to make bases in the future. But yeah, part of it is like there's a you have a main base, you have a bunch of smaller bases, and you just work on building and upgrading it to try to defeat the zombie hordes that come at you. So it's like a really uh really cool of a game, like a really cool idea. And then once they get inside, you lose. If they get inside, look at this one. He's really getting up here. What's up with that, buddy? Oh, why are these getting so close? Where's my boys at? Where's my help at? Where's my backup at? Where's my rockets at? Well, I think we're doing good for now. At least as long as these traps stay. They have 24 uses too, which is incredible. Like, instead of just saying, like, you get one use, use a ton of resources, like, that is good game design. That is fantastic game design. Alright, we're just gonna keep on shooting these guys, spraying and praying. So satisfying. This is great. Oh, an airstrike. 10 seconds. I can hold them off for 10 seconds. Honestly, I probably don't even need to shoot them. Because I think the spikes are just gonna kill them. Except. What is happening? Press 5 to target airstrike and then click? Oh, snap! Let's just see what happens. I think I did it. Oh, yeah, I did. Woo! That was cool. Uh, I think I actually missed pretty bad on a lot of them. I don't know if that was really what I was supposed to do, but... Uh, airstrike's pretty sweet. I think I'm supposed to maybe even kill the purple things back there, but I'm not 100% certain. But guys, here's the deal. I'm a, I'm a, I used to be an Xbox player, now I'm a PC player, and I've never played an FPS game on the PC really where you use a gun. And so the mouse movement to me has always been really awkward. And if you follow my channel, you'll know that I'm not really the best at playing games where it involves shooting things. And so I'm thinking, if I play this game more, I might actually be getting better at shooting, so this will translate to other games. So that's pretty cool to think about. And it looks like we did get lift off from the rocket, whatever that means. I don't really know. We're not on the rocket. Why are we shooting it? Is that a nuke? What's going on with the rocket now? Oh, we got a zombie on the rocket. Oh, that zombie's dead. Oh, we're getting a satellite data. Okay. Okay. Is this still the tutorial or did that end? I don't know. That was pretty intense. But guys, I will take this black screen of Doom Early Access loading screen to say thank you everyone for supporting me on Patreon. But today I would like to ask you to go follow me on Twitter. Loverfellow TV. Do it right now. You won't regret it. Pretty good storyline so far. I don't know. I like it. It's like, it's funny. It's upbeat. It keeps me happy. This is a game that I don't want to put down right now. This is a game that I just want to keep playing. Home base, we'll call it Elite Lovers. That's what we're going to call it. And then edit the banner. Obviously, we're going to be a heart. We're going to be, I mean, I'm kind of like a red, kind of like a pinkish. I'm like a salmon, but it's probably closest to red. So we're a red heart. That's what we're going for. That's perfect. That is perfect. Saving home base data. So I guess that's our home base with the red heart. Perfect that that's the very first symbol they have on there. I'm pretty happy about that. And now what? Now what happens? I don't know. I'm excited. Let's see it. Ooh. Ooh. Mission reward level four loot. Don't mind if I do. So I received wooden floor spikes. Damages and slows all enemies where they're standing. Cool. I received a gun. All right. That's pretty cool. So this must be like the main menu screen. So shield defense, loot llamas, so I don't know. This must be the levels you're playing on. Quests, map. Oh, so this is our base and oh, that's a cool map. Look at that, guys. Look at the purple goop. Oh, that's cool. Okay. 
So I guess I can select a base play mission there. Looks like we have people chatting down here, which is kind of cool. Armory squad, all that stuff I don't have. And so I'm actually going to go ahead and select and play it because what time is it? It's super late. I have class in the morning, but I'm going to do this anyway. All right, guys, I'm sending a Snapchat right now. So I'm not releasing this until 50K subs. So make sure you go follow me on Twitter and Instagram so you guys can get that once I hit 50K. Okay, so it says we have 44 seconds for something. I guess I click launch. I had 43 seconds to launch it. And this is multiplayer, so I would love to play this with some of you guys. Some of the Patreons we can, or patrons, we can get this in here. It's going to be sweet. Um, establish Storm Shield. Don't know what that means. Complete mission. Don't know what that creates. Upgrade and defend. I think I know what that means. That seems pretty straightforward. You can recycle any card. So apparently there's a card system. There's like a loot crate system. You unlock new things, new abilities. There's a super in-depth crafting system. Um, and there are little binoculars. We Ooh. Sorry about that, guys. That's probably not very good to, to do in a video, but uh, sometimes you you got a burp and it just comes right on out. All right. So we got to save these people. Wow, this is great. These animations are fantastic. I love this. If we all pull together, we can bring them all home. Look at the positivity from this green robot. That is what I'd like to see. I say yes. Oh, okay. Okay, that's not good. Look at the notepad. There's actual notes on it. I don't know. There's some details. Am I like weird to get excited about that? You can, you know, I'm a gamer when I see a notepad with actual notes, and I'm like, that's amazing. But our girl's got some sass on her, so it looks like a little robot's. Oh, that, that guy's coming in pretty quick. Ooh, ooh. Looks like a robot's. A robot's bringing in. A bringing in a, a, a bigger robot. What is that? Is, is this our base? Maybe. If I had to guess, I would say this is our base, or it's a, like a, a bomb. That makes sense, if there's a nuke going off right behind us and it only kills zombies. D how does that not affect you? Like, you just... Whoa, oh, oh, oh. It's a storm shield. I literally... I'm not gonna lie to you, I literally just got chills when I, like, when I like let me play. Like, th that does not happen often when I play. Like, I actually got chills. I was like, this is so cool, I got chills. That's weird, okay? That's weird. This is really, really cool looking. Okay, I'm a talented builder. Yes, I am. So now I gotta make a base? Or activate it? Activate your storm shield. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I gotta do this quick probably, or maybe not. Activate. Ooh, look at that go. What the heck? It turns into a giant. What? Okay. Gotta protect it. Oh my goodness, that's what I can build. What? Wow, okay. Uh... Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Have the time and resources to build. Okay, I can build this. Oh, they're building it for me! They're oh, they're not. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for all the resources there, friendo. Oh, bring them in, bring them in. Okay. So, F1 is wall. Okay. So, let's get a little... What do we want to do? If I have metal, I feel like I would want a metal wall, personally. I mean, that's what, that's what I'm going for. I feel like that was... That's metal, right? It costs 10 metal. So yeah, let's just go with metal walls. That seems like the move to give you out. I don't know why I wouldn't. The inner is the most important area, so we're just going to metal wall it up right here. Wow, what a good game, guys. This game's going to be... This game's going to be big. I'm telling you that right now. This game will be big. I've never been so confident about this in my life. Wow. At least I hope so. I haven't gotten too into it yet, but I'm loving it. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Press F1 to select walls and press that to click it. Okay, got that taken care of. So F1 is your main building menu. Oh, I missed one right there. How'd I do that? Get in there, buddy. Right there. Oh, let's go ahead and make it face in the same way in case that matters. All right. While in build mode, press G to enter build edit mode. So we'll click, right click with my aiming at a line and below it. Okay, press G. And then I can like literally dig out holes. Press Q to enter build mode. And then G to edit edit mode. Oh, you know what? I bet... No, I don't. Oh, I have to put a door there, and then I go up to it, and then I click on spots where I don't want a piece at, and then I confirm it with G, and then I place it. And then it makes me a freaking room with a door, I think. So you literally, like, freaking make your own door frame. Okay. F2 for floor. Let's go ahead and press that. Oh, we're on a spiky floor. Or is that ceiling? F2. Material. We want metal, I think. So we're going to go metal floors again. 
All in the front. Maybe I should have done wood up front, but that's okay. All right, let's get all these placed here real quick. Let's get all this taken care of. Boom. And boom right there. Okay, that's beautiful. And then ceilings are F4. And then I guess uh, we just go in here and just kind of seal it up real quick. What, do I still have enough metal? Okay, so instead of actually using the roof for that pyramid, it's actually letting me put floors on the roof there. So that's pretty cool. Trap time. Okay, it says, stand at a floor, ceiling, or wall, press T to enter trap picker. Oh my gosh, there's a trap picker. Oh, baby. This is what we just got from our crate. So, what, do I just click it and then what? Oh, and then I just place it somewhere. So, I don't know what this one is. I guess I should read it real quick. Wooden floor spikes. Okay. So, I mean, if I just put them by the door, it's going to spike people who come. I can put one over here. And I can put one over here. We can place more traps, right? We have more. Ceiling. Oh, so I can click ceiling. So, it's saying this is like a shocker trap. So, I can put some of those there. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Then I can do... What is this one? Shoot six darts. Okay, now I have like a literally a dart shooter that I'm putting around the perimeter of the wall. So I'm going up to it. Um, wait, press F1 to select walls. Press G to enter edit. Okay, F1 to select walls. G to edit. And then click that while aiming at the top two rows to deselect squares, reconfigure. Press G to finish editing. Wow, okay. So what it's saying is build the remaining defenses. So it wants me to put small walls in front, essentially, I believe. So we can go to edit mode. Get rid of these, all of these, and then just put one there, and then confirm it. And then put it like that. So that's how you like make different shaped walls, which is fantastic. So this is going to slow our enemies down, it looks like. So I can place these all around. Um, put one more right there. And I'm going to exit edit mode. He broke the airstrike. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to defend it ourselves. I think these dart things are going to be pretty powerful. Can I put one here? Q for build mode. T for traps. Wall trap. Am I out? Oh, I see. There's numbers. So one to click. Okay. So I'm out of traps. And then what are you saying? Throw a grenade. So abilities. There's freaking abilities. Squad. Okay. You can get more people. So you can have up to five people. And then she's saying craft more ammo. I'm actually not sure. Craft. Oh, okay. So that's how we do it. So I guess light bullets, heavy bullets. And then C is craft. And you just click it and it's instant. So that's cool. So I just crafted a whole bunch of ammo. Um, so then what do I do? Defend your storm shield and then go up to it and activate it when we're ready. All right, guys. Let's do this. Walk over here. Access storm shield menu. And then I click on expand shield. Here we go. All right. Shield power increasing. Shield power increasing. As expected, the shields have gone a little flaky. Let's see if the storm notices. All right. So I guess now we see if zombies come in. I think it did. You've got Hopefully they only come from one direction. And I have a little laser. Oh, 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 here they come. Wait, a baseball zombie. Pitch throwing bones. That reminds me of Plants vs. Zombies. That is sweet. Okay, cool. So now we just def literally defend our base. I'm gonna go for the. Actually, how good is this pistol? Is this better? I don't know. I feel like I can aim a little better with a single shot. So I don't know that it's better, but headshots are definitely. Oh, we want to hide from the pitches, that's for sure. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, snap. We got a pitch right up here. Okay, no. Machine gun's definitely better than pistol, I'm thinking. There's a little guy right there. Where else we got? Are they coming from all directions? I don't know if they are or not. What is this? Freaking, is that guy giving him a shield or something? Now we got shield zombies? Okay. So, I mean, I guess really the best way to do it is just kind of... Oh, there's one. Hide behind our walls. Hope that our traps don't go off on these guys because I'm probably going to defend it for two minutes. Okay. So I need to defend this base for two minutes. I'm going to save the traps because I just have a feeling this kind of game that you're going to get a boss in. Like some kind of crazy boss is going to come up and murder us. A little baseball guy right there. This is fantastic. There's a big fat tubby right there. Look at him coming on out. That's a little potato monster. Got to aim for the head, I believe. Always gives you bonus damage no matter what game you play. This is really fun, man. I actually needed to go to bed about an hour ago, and I like literally installed it. And I was like, all right, I'm going to give this game a shot. Whatever. Seems like a game I'll enjoy, but I was not expecting this. I was not expecting to be just absolutely enthralled by this game. And I haven't been even pulling out big words from my vocabulary. I mean, that's like... That's like a big word, enthralled, you know? I, I think that was a vocab word back in high school for me. So, that's a, I mean, that's it's bringing out the best in me. Got a little zombie back there. I haven't even had to use any traps yet, yo. I'm freaking killing it. These graphics are great. Okay, am I praising this game too much? I guess it feels like this is sponsored. This isn't, guys. This is real reaction right now. Um, I guess... Oh, there's one. There's one, there's one. Didn't know they could climb off the walls right there. It's literally just me having a good time. But anyway, guys, let's talk about some stuff right now. Um, let's talk about what makes... I was talking about in the other day... Oh, thank you. What makes a video game good? And what, like, some of the things I don't like about Ark? Um, 
And the thing that a lot of people just don't like is like the grind if it's like excessive. And so I think this game, from what I've felt so far, has a satisfying grind to it. Like it's not like an arc where you're breeding a dinosaur and you will wait an hour and that is all you do is you literally breed by waiting, right? There's no interaction, there's nothing for you. There's no game there. It's supposed to be a game, right? So there should be some little mini game or something to do, no matter how small it is, just to keep your attention. And so in my opinion, that is a bad way to make a game. And the reason I feel like I can say that is because I go to a lot of, or I used to go to a lot of conferences for gaming and game design. I used to want to be a game designer, actually, and even designed a few of my own games. And so um, I actually learned a lot about what makes a game fun. Learned a lot about what makes a game addicting, fun to play, all that stuff. And so one of the things they talked about is like just because it's realistic doesn't necessarily mean it's fun. So I just always think about that when I'm playing games, because usually I'm like, oh, this game's popular, that means it's good, but that doesn't mean there aren't flaws in it. There are flaws in every game, no matter what it is. I think it's important for us as consumers to realize that and point it out to companies. That way they're fixed in the future. That's a victory for us. I'm going to see what happens after this now. See if we get like another box or something. I don't know. Maybe. There's our heart banner. We got 14,000 things. Team score. Cool. Combat. Building. I didn't do any building, really. And we're the elite lovers. That's what I like to see. Also, check out Elite Lover Patreon in the in the in the description to support my channel, guys. Support my channel. One skill point. That's what I like to see. Do we just do we get to open this many? What the heck is happening right now? Okay. Loot chests will open on the play screen. Let's get back to the play screen so I can open some loot chests because I want to get some cool stuff. Return to the home base. Teleport me back home. What a game. I'm giving this game a round of applause right now. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go open up a loot crate. My roommate's probably like, bro, why are you clapping right now? It's like freaking 10.30 and I'm sleeping. He does a lot of studying. My roommate's a pharmacist, so um, let's open it. Let's see what we get. Level 3 loot. Claim your free reward llama? What the crap is that? And experience. Used to level heroes and defenders. Can be found in llamas. What? Quest complete? Okay, got a little, little envelope right here. Oh, cool, pump action, shot, pump action shotgun came inside of the envelope. And we also got V-Bucks, viable currency. It's a dangerous world okay, there, what happened to my llama? Reward llama, simple they llama stuffed with basic goods. That's llama. phenomenal. Oh, baby! That was sweet. Oh, look at all the stuff coming. Oh, look at all the cards. Oh my goodness, loot llama, that's a great idea. So we got a pipe, we got experience, and we got more spikes. That's freaking sweet. And I can buy it for a hundred and upgrade llama. The old faithful llama pack. Should I just do it? I'm gonna upgrade llama buy. I don't. I have a hundred coins. I feel like it's tempting me. We gotta do it. Oh. Are we chopping something? Oh yes, we are, my man. Oh, there you go. Let's see what we get. Experience, experience. Oh, a survivor. Ooh, a storm ticket. I don't know what any of this stuff does, but this is freaking nice. Okay. Assign this survival to a squad to increase squad power. So that looks like an AI that's going to fight for me. Pretty sweet. Assign them to a squad to lead survivors dependable to gain more power. Okay. Hero experience storm tickets can be traded for special llamas. Only during the storm zone events. Okay. And then this is a gun? Sniper rifle. Okay. You have a 100 out of 1,000 storm tickets, so I need more storm tickets. You now have access to your skill tree, okay. So, let's see. Now, access, don't forget to check out your quest journal. Da, 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 da. Ooh, a little, little, oh, a little, little quest complete. Oh. Are you giving me more mini llamas? Oh, okay, so this give me base Kyle. Has a strong base with electric floors, whatever that is. And more hero experience. Oh, and another one. Quest complete, standard edition rewards. Collect additional rewards daily. Home base banner. Home base. Oh, lots of banners. Okay. Very cool. And quest complete deluxe edition rewards. Got the deluxe edition, boys. I splurged. I did. Thought it would be a good game, and I just feel like it is. So I get five upgrade llamas. Ooh. Ooh, don't tell anyone except my subscribers watching right now. Get a little something special. Check it out. Teammate boost. A little armory slot. Increase the number of items that can be stored in your armory. A couple more characters. Cool. 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 All right. That's a lot. Okay. Wow. A little gun action. A little more gun action, a little, a little sword, a little more spikes, purple gun, founder's daily rewards, a little piece of banner, I'm still looking for that heart, those are cool banners, still more guns, 
Good lord, that's a lot of stuff from this and a purple gun. And I notice everything has one star, so I feel kind of like I didn't get anything that good. Okay. So I can upgrade things. Well, shoot. Should I do it? Okay, how do I? Oh, purchase that right there. Alright, let's see what we get, guys. I'll open this real quick, guys. Normally I cut this out, but this is cool. I feel like you might want to see it. Um, so I get a whole bunch of random stuff right here. Bricks and stuff, okay. Cool. All right, thank you very much, my man. Let's go to armory. Uh, schematics here. So these are all my guns that I just unlocked. Um, so I guess I can use these in battle. I'm not sure exactly if I have to pick them or something. All heroes. These are all my new guys right here. Uh, don't uh, understand how I use those, but I'm sure I'll figure that out. Defenders and survivors. And I'm sorry, I know she's talking right now, but uh, I'm just ignoring her basically. Upgrade inspect. So if I go to survivors, click on him. Then click on V, upgrade, inspect. I can upgrade. What are you saying? There's storms. Shut up, girl. I'm trying to do some stuff. Resources. Oh, I got five more llamas. Snap. We're going to go open these llamas. Claim one. Mini reward llama. Oh, we got a sword this time. This is nice. Experience. Experience. Uncommon leader. And that's it. Okay. Cool. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. We're going to claim one or claim five. I feel like why not claim five? The old faithful law. Okay, I don't know. We got. I said claim five. We're gonna break them all. We're gonna see what we get. Stop talking, girl. I'm trying to talk to my subscribers right now. Oh, a green gun. Ooh, storm tickets. That's probably good. Rare survivor. Gonna go ahead and just keep on smashing these things. This is phenomenal. Oh my goodness. Okay. A little bit of a little bit of stuff there. Uncommon survivor. Looks like. Ooh, more storm tickets. Another survivor. So. That's cool. Yes, you can. Look how cute these are. This is better than a loot crate. What was that? Machine pistol, wooden spikes, storm tickets, rare defender. Man, I gotta figure out what this stuff does. If this is even good or if I'm getting a bunch of junk. Ooh, a hammer. Oh, it turned silver. Oh, a lucky one. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know. What is this stuff? You aren't lucky. Oh, what is that? A rare wall launcher. And a rare oh this was a lucky one look at all this stuff oh and an epic survivor i still don't know what that is thank you lucky llama thank you very much oh that was weird that was a hoe i was hitting them with a ceiling zapper a healing pad St more storm this is oh i can fast forward okay we'll fast forward to this okay i think that's all of them so this is all the stuff that we just unlocked right there that's cool don't have any more V-Bucks because I spent them already. Then I can go to my armory and look at all this other stuff we unlocked here. So, like, this is a cool looking gun. It's a zapper. It says it's an epic gun. So, can I click on it? Click on upgrade and then level it up. L. And it purge It costs 250 experience to level up. So, if I can... It says I have no experience. So, maybe if I don't have any experience, I can go to resources. Click on experience. Use to upgrade heroes and defenders. Okay. Maybe I don't have the right experience or something. I'm not really sure about that. But that's really cool to have all that cool stuff there. Um, don't have any more of those to level up. So guys, I think that pretty much is a pretty pretty good in-depth view of the game. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. I don't know how to upgrade my weapons, but that looks really cool. I'm really t uh, like tempted to keep playing, but I just got to get off because I need to go to bed. Daily rewards. Hold on. Day one. Day two. Oh, shoot. We get freaking daily rewards. Oh, baby. I'll be on this game every day. I promise. Oh, oh, we got, we got another llama. We got another llama. Oh, yeah. Oh, geez, this is addicting. Um, guys, I am just going to end it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check out some of my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. We're probably going to be playing this game a lot more in the future. I hope you like it as much as I did, because it has been an absolute blast. Guys, you are beautiful. You are amazing. Keep on pushing to reach your goals every single day. Eventually, you will get there, guys. I love you, and I'll see you all tomorrow.